A lot's happened in Talos' 10 years of existence, and to celebrate our birthday, we wanted to take a look back on some of the major moments in Talos' history. Here's an overview of some of the notable events, cyber attacks, research breakthroughs, and more that truly make Talos, Talos. In 2001, Martin Resch, the original creator of Snort, founded Sourcefire. Then fast forward to July 2013, and Cisco announced an agreement to purchase Sourcefire for $2.7 billion. But it wasn't until August 2014 when we formally launched Talos at the Black Hat Cybersecurity Conference in Las Vegas. In October 2015, Talos helped to shut down the Angular exploit kit by shutting down access for customers by updating Cisco products to stop redirects to the Angular proxy servers and releasing new snort rules to detect and block checks from the exploit kit. At the time, we estimated that Angular was targeting more than 90,000 users a day and generating $30 million annually. In May 2017, WannaCry, which to this day is one of the largest ransomware attacks ever, hit several notable victims, including FedEx and the National Health Service in the UK. Attackers exploited the NSA-created Eternal Blue exploit. That same month, we launched the first ever episode of Beers with Talos, which today is our flagship podcast. In February 2018, Talos researchers discovered malware that adversaries were using to disrupt the Olympic Games in South Korea. The attackers were even able to disrupt ticket-taking operations at the opening ceremony. This led us down a long path of finding who was or wasn't responsible. Then in May of that year, we had VPN Filter, a massive malware campaign that affected hundreds of thousands of home wireless routers. The campaign from Russian state-sponsored actors had the ability to completely take over the devices. We officially launched Cisco Talos Incident Response in October 2019, merging Incident Response from Cisco's CX organization with Talos' threat intelligence. Talos IR offers proactive and reactive assistance to customers around the world. Offering some much-needed levity from the global pandemic at the time, in November 2020, the infamous pig couch goes viral after a fake Craigslist ad for it spreads on social media. This somehow led to Marty Rush making it into the New York Times. It was a whole thing. Then, later that year in December, adversaries compromised the legitimate SolarWinds Orion IT management software to deploy malware via a fake software update. This would be the first in a string of supply chain attacks Talos researchers and incident responders would have to address in the coming months. Fast forward a year later, and just days before the winter holidays, the internet nearly caught on fire with the infamous Log4j incident. The Log4 shell vulnerability in the open source framework would launch countless blog posts, customer meetings, live streams, and much more. In February 2022, the Russian military launches an offensive assault against Ukraine. Talos immediately responds to assist Ukraine, capitalizing on years-long partnerships to help keep critical infrastructure online and users protected from a barrage of cyber attacks. We would also assist Talos teammates in staying protected, supporting them in moving to other countries. In April 2023, Cisco and Talos helped to launch the Network Resilience Coalition, a group of technology companies working to ensure users and companies upgrade and update their network infrastructure. The effort was launched after the discovery of Jaguar Tooth a massive campaign targeting unpatched wireless routers. And that brings us to now, August 2024, when we will celebrate Talos' 10th anniversary. Cheers to many more years of malware mascots, late nights at security conferences, and emergency blog posts.